This is five minutes with Joey. Joey, if D student died tomorrow, what would you do instead? Uh, that's a really good question. I would probably read more, spend time with my son more, and I might even move to Texas or Alaska. And I'd walk away from everything and everyone. You'd never hear me again. I would be around. I'll be gone. What is some evil carnal fantasy you have about your wife that she would never let you do? Um, I, I don't think that exists. I mean, it's, it's, I, I don't know if there's, I don't know if it's a matter of it's off limits or it's kind of like, if it's bad and evil, I wouldn't want to do it to her. Does that make sense? Yeah. I, I wouldn't want to hurt her. Sure. But everything you think that I could do or, or should have been, it's been done or I know how to do so it doesn't hurt her. So it's it's a very boring, boring vanilla answer right now. All right. If D student was started in Amsterdam instead of Fullerton, where do you think we would be in terms of what we're involved in? Probably raves. It's an easy answer. Raves. If you had a million dollars to pump into D student, what would you do with it? I'd make a pie graph first and foremost, percentage wise. Um, 25% is an easy answer. I'd give 25 out for free. 100% keep it. Don't ever fucking return it. And I'd try to give it to as much people that needed it as opposed to wanted it. And it'd be hands on. It'd be like I'd, I'd sit there and go, Aaron. We need to make this like an eight hour fucking job to find out who these people are that need it as opposed to want it. And that's hard because there could be someone who really needs a thousand dollars to get a new fucking car. They really do need it and they're, I, I could give them a thousand dollars and they'd spend 800 on drinking or partying and then they'll take 200 and get a car. So it, it, it's a hard, how do you, it's really how the, how the government operates, actually, on some aspects. I would do about another 5% loans with probably like a very low interest. And then I'd take that interest and I'd feed it into a community bank where you could take out future loans again for other D students. So whatever you pay back for interest would feed them as well. I would probably have 10% invested somewhere, somehow. Um, and then I'll take maybe, maybe another 5% to invest in others' dreams. So if you said, I've always wanted to start a dispensary, I now have money to invest in it. It's not free, it's not a loan, it's my investing in you. Um, because of how I'm programmed, I would have some for marketing and promoting. It's amazing that I have that much of a thought out for Yeah, this that's answer. a pretty good answer. Uh, it, it's to me it's an easy it's an easy answer for me to say, give me money, I can make it grow. Cause I do. I know how the fuck to do that. Alright. Name one D student that you wish you had more time with and why. Oh shit. That's an easy, easy answer. Can it be a tie? Yeah. First one would be to Aaron, because he's my best friend. Uh, I enjoy hanging out with him. And even if it wasn't a friendship best friend thing, what we do together for you guys, what you've never even seen yet, would blow your mind. So if I had more time productively, it would launch a thousand ships. And personally, because I, I miss hanging out with him. I haven't had a chance to hang out with him. And the other one would, that's an easy answer. My wife. I have not given her enough time. I have not given her enough energy. And I've not bet on that horse enough times. But yet I have no problem with turning that horse into a meal and pulling the trailer. So I'd like to have more time spent on the artistic fun side with her. 
We're at five minutes now. We're going to go over because we don't follow rules over here. <laughs> That's five minutes, huh? Yeah. Well, you know, you could actually technically edit so that it's five minutes, right? I don't think there's anything we can cut out. It was all quality. Oh, okay. Fair enough. So, the next question is, what D student do you kind of regret, if you had regrets, investing time in because they were such a disappointment or such a letdown? Who do you wish you never wasted your time on? Let's come through these doors. That's a double-edged sword. And I'm not afraid about... I'm not afraid of saying names. I, I don't vague post. That's not me. Um, it's like ex-wives. You know what I mean? You could bitch about the ex-wife. You could say how much you don't love the ex-wife. But in reality, when the doors are shut and you're looking at pictures of her... Mm -hmm. and that song is playing and you smell that perfume and you look at her leftover fucking comb that you never threw it away you remember that you loved her and you had great times so there's no throwaways there is a lot of people out there that I am not affiliated or don't want to be affiliated with it anymore and if you ask me I'll tell you I'll tell you who they are um I just, I don't believe in vague posts. I don't believe in not saying names. But I think this would be the one time that would be considered taking the higher road by not saying their names. I think it would be very trashy of me to say their names. But if you're out there and you want to know who they really are, you can ask me. I'll fucking tell you. All right. What are your top five life lessons that you would want to impart to today's youth? <sighs> Depends if they're single or married or have a kid or don't have a kid. They're they're young. Let's say they just turned eighteen. They still have their whole life ahead of them. In what today's the... age, yeah. right now, the game has changed. Buy more bullets. Arm yourself. Arm yourself. Believe in the Second Amendment. Because one day, Master's going to want to put a collar on that dog. And if that dog has no teeth to bite back, it's going to be pretty easy to put his ass in the fucking kennel, getting ready to be put down, ain't it? Two. Read more. Read a lot more. Because if you do that, books are just like bullets, even more dangerous. Remember, believe in a thought, a philosophy, before you believe in anything else. They can kill me. They can imprison me. But they no longer can take my philosophy. It's already out there. It's, it's fucking grown legs. So they can never destroy these student technically. Um, and because I, because of myself, and this is just my own belief, don't be spiritually bankrupt. Believe in something. Have faith. Whether it's have faith in faith, have faith in mankind, have faith in love, have faith in God, Buddha, the devil, witchcraft, uh, whatever you... Allah, whatever you believe in, have faith in it. Have faith just in, in having faith. Mankind has lost faith. Um, have fun. You don't know when you're going to go bye-bye. you got to have fun. Because if worst case scenario, if everything goes downhill, they fucking ask that famous question behind every single one of us pirates. Was it worth it? You can see, yeah, I had fun. And this has been uh, uh, nine minutes with Joey Bryan. <laughs>